I am a simple Siamese cat. I enjoy two things in life. Spin-offs of network TV procedurals and Rob Lowe. And by George 911 Lone Star gives me both of those things. It's the story of Owen Strand, a firefighter who loves dancing and skin care and moves from Manhattan to Austin, Texas to lead a ragtag team of firefighters fighters, including his drug-addicted son. It's the perfect show made by people who've never been to Austin, and it's certifiably insane! Thank you guys so much. You can understand? I can't tell you. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! No need to drop dead now. This is Lloyd's top 10 moments from my favorite show, 911 Lone Star. Number 10, just a regular night for finding the right Uber driver who's playing the Edgar Winter group. Watch me. Whoa, easy on the network cursing. Don't worry, these two know each other or something. I, I don't really drink, and I, I'd have to check my calendar. Yeah, I get it. It's always in awkward rides like this when we pray for a car accident and God is listening. Yes, this is included for this shot alone. Get it? Free ride? <laughs> what? Why aren't you laughing? Also, this is when the opening credits start. We're just getting started. Number nine, leave it to a gender reveal party to remind myself, good lord, I'm never having kids. First, it's nerf fencing, and then the next thing you know, you're ruining the surprise! Now that that's ruined, we need to kick this party up a notch. That's good thinking, it's not a party till someone falls in the pool. Don't worry, we'll fix you right up with these gauze dipped in a soapbox. You ask me, the whole idea of a gender reveal party is pretty messed up. Good lord, save it for Twitter! A man was set on fire! Not to mention, the wife is also going into labor! Congratulations, it's a boy! <laughs> that man was set on fire for nothing! Number eight. I see this having a peaceful enough resolution. A dementia patient gets confused and accidentally breaks into his old home thinking it's his. Their current family thinks there's an intruder and the husband even has a heart attack. But with our heroes on their way, this situation will surely be calmed and the heart attack patient can be rushed to the hospital. <laughs> Oops, you stupid kid! Number seven. Oh, a funeral. I feel that this happens a hundred times a day in this universe, complete with the arguing. That's all you got? I was friends with the man for 37 years. He knows how I feel. Yep, it ain't an ash scattering without heavy Ryan Murphy melodrama and explanations of cremains. Now what? Uh, I thought it was supposed to be ashes. Why is it chunky? That's because the bits of teeth and bone fragments are going to make an excellent Brad tries. Or it would have if this guy didn't taste it first. <laughs> and with that, the Austin zombie invasion has begun. Here's another staple of the series. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, my friend, he's choking on Joe. The callers never provide the right context. But after a good cloth steam, he's no longer choking on fingers or whatever the hell that was. It's always a real emergency when the 911 operator's laughing her ass off. Number six. Naturally, every city in Texas is exactly the same. So they're all cowboy used car salesmen who let bulls loose in crowded parking lots where no one in this city knows how to drive. <laughs> If you ask me, this bull isn't angry. He just wants to take part in this car lot mosh pit. 
Who knew calling 911 would be so slapsticky? This is why you leave real bull shenanigans to professionals like Bugs Bunny. And in case of emergency bullhead stuck in a car, you know who to call. I promise you, we're gonna get you out. All right, so I would appreciate it if you didn't kill any of my team. Rob Lowe, Bull Whisperer! Number five, every series needs a villain, and in 911 Lone Star, we have Billy Burke as Billy, original. He wants Rob Lowe's fire chief job so bad, he even outs Rob Lowe as having cancer from being a 9-11 first responder. Seriously! He's just daring God to jump in and put a stop to this, which I'm pretty sure God does. You are some piece of work, Billy. So I've been told. Billy! And this is why you don't play Caddyshack in real life. Thank God Rob Lowe's job is safe because Billy is burnt to a crisp. Number four, I don't know what this guy expected to happen when he was listening to the ironic radio station. You'll need more than a 10-gallon hat. It's really gonna be coming oh, down later damn. today. And this isn't the only time that it'll be raining bodies here. Wouldn't it be something if this were never explained? But it is when her first concern is that she wants her phone. Because you guessed it, she's an influencer. You don't get to be the biggest yoga hottie on YouTube without taking things to the next level. Ooh, someone created the Lethal Weapon Challenge! This is survival of the fittest, so it's okay to joke. What did we just watch? Pride Before the Fall. <laughs> that gets a like and a retweet! Number three, to think tornadoes are only the third scariest thing in this universe. And these are tornadoes that chase you down the street! Again, she should have known the tornado stalking would happen. She's also listening to the ironic radio station. Stop listening to these stations, people. Relax, she'll be fine. This isn't quite the Wizard of Oz, but there are some sci-fi elements. Hello? Anybody in there? Austin FD. Yes, I'm here. That could be because of the tornado, but we've already seen that these drivers cause bull stampedes, so maybe she intentionally parked up there so she could jump on a big cushion. Shockingly, this seems to be the only emergency after this multiple tornado sighting. Thank you guys so much. You got this right? I can't tell you. Whoa, whoa, hey. Oh, except that guy who died. It's okay, he's a hero. He died from saving the cat. Number two, the season finale really knew how to end things. Going to a coffee shop and also a solar storm causing maximum overdrive to happen. Oh, oh, oh. My god, they're clearly testing for the new Goosebumps movie! Optimus Prime, we need your help! The Decepticons have taken Austin! Not to mention... There's also Killer Birds! The end times are here! Sure, this causes mass chaos, including planes caught in wires, and an astronaut calls in from outer space with radiation poisoning. But let's go back to Liv Tyler for a moment. Hey, Doc. Remember me? That was completely unrelated! What is this show?! And our number one moment goes to the episode which opens with what I hope doesn't happen on every writer's room on this show. <laughs> Hang on, let's see where this goes. I'll tell you exactly where this is going. Liza! The Happening! Episode 2 opens with M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening. It continues even when help arrives. What in the world is causing their instinct to jump out the window? Somebody from Bird Box. Bird Box. Netflix? Sandra Bulk? No, no, not Bird Box. The Happening! It's seriously raining bodies. 
What is with this show and zombie invasions where people injure themselves then jump from high places? Why? Somebody or delivery? Oh, it's because a disgruntled delivery driver laced their cookies with mercury. I'm being serious! Why? I never tell. And this was just the second episode! Thankfully, 911 Lone Star was renewed for a second season, so expect far more 911 Lone Star clips of the week in the future. Until then, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash stonedgremlinproductions and follow us on Twitter at the Cinema Snob.